that will be developed or can call this uh, this the rest apis and build the functionality that means they have a have the your sql developer build the functionalities you just consume the uh, procedure fun sql procedure functions and expose as a rest apis and then call the rest apis what they need it in the for the for the complex sql functionalities for java developer normally they they would they, they did it like with uh, jpa like query and query annotations native query or or your model query or jp jpql annotations jpql language that's the, the same things but in the complex cases or your monolithic application or b application some sql developer did it you need to call these functionalities let's see the b notation you see the components annotation everybody knows this one is a component scan that's why i'll talk about this is component scan component annotations into the your repository service and configuration control level and repository annotation that's we talk about this one DAO repository classes usually represent the database access layers in the application and service is the most important one this is the most really the most important annotations so based on service you define your service and annotate it. service annotations and the spring boot automatically inject the, the services service layers and generate the beans respective beans uh, to the other other implementation classes or in, into the controller so this is the going on controller annotations for the spring mbc for 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 rest in world this is the called rest rest controller this is very simple so i would like to thank you and the, for for attending the the presentation and the all part of the application now uh, just please uh, uh, you can subscribe my channels and uh, try down your ideas concept and share with friends and you can integrate also the ideas and concept that we have it here into the day-to-day -day developments and write down and subscribe the uh, and comment in the, into the channels i will try our best to give it to you some feedback and then we can share our knowledge uh, and, and do the better job today you know. let's have a have a start the, the java developments how how the one by one to implement those those features and those functionalities so if i go to uh, the java development that i already talked about the detail about the project structure implementations how can you define this project how can you build these projects all all things is here the all things that, that's into my channels I seen here the the screencast number uh, 36. You see that the 36, this is the the 36 number screencast. You can look for that one, and then how you can previous screencast like one to 17, and then I will continue the next one. So this is the con continuation for the next one. What we did so like the recap this one. We define our models. Uh, let's see. We close it everything. Then it's a clear idea. So it's a registration part. So what we did, we define, we define our. This is this is one of the. So you see the. This is the one of the annotation that we already talk about. This is the primary, the main class, main methods, and this is the all the the controller. So the controller definition that we have, and this is the all models, and this is the all the repositories, and this is the service implementation. This this is the uh, service interface and service implementation. Let let's have a start to the, our really one by one basic steps. So here is the, our models. That's we you already saw the models here. So it has a entity that's the annotation entity to build a uh, build a build a domain object into the ORM into the backend server in the Postgres database Postgres SQL database, and this is the table name into the database backend server. So address informations. It has the own content informations. It has some some generation types, and this is the 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 geometry objects the, to inject the geometry that I, I show you here. This is the example of the geometry objects. So this is the geometry object and it's to store the coordinate points and store the core geometry into the your backend machines, backend server. So geometry data has, has all information about the reference ID, city, road, and then so on, house number. And this is the embedded and super, and, and later is simply, uh, uh, simply get it and set and nothing more special. So if you define the models, uh, let's say we define the models and then we go to the define our repository. So every, that means every domain models has own repository model. The own repository means it has their own code operations, create, update, delete operations. That means 
if you have a deletion domain models on um, domain means if you define your you as, as a domain class as a, to build the entity models uh, entity ORM to the backend server this called the domain models or ORM objects or ORM models so that means uh, we define our domain models we, we define our all attribute that you need uh, and then in event even though we define our all the relationships and for the relationship case I will go to the next one this one let's say this finish this one this part so you define your your address information uh, repository and extend the JPA repository and you pass your JPA repository. that means when you extend the, and the JPA repository in, the, in these models has own own crude operation or other functionalities and you can have a crude repository you can paging and sorting repository but I will show you the all possibilities and the, how the the, the crude repository what the difference between the crude repository JP repository and then and then J paging and sorting repository every repository has own extension own functionalities but the basic repository is the repository itself and then after that they extend it to the like the JPA repository crude repository and paging and sorting repository and then so on so forth and even though the repository depending on the which backend server you are and in the SQL world, it doesn't matter. In the MySQL or Oracle or PostGIS SQL doesn't matter. For the non-SQL world, Mongo, Cassandra, Redis, Gamefire, they has a different repository and different annotations, different definition. And this is the that's I said. Look for the my screen uh, my channel. There is a, all the possibility. There's a Cassandra, Mongo, and Redis, Gamefire, all the backend servers. How you can expose, how you can define your models, and how can you expose the REST APIs? That's I that's I say. They can just look for. That one and then uh, you have it yeah we define our repository and then we define our all the enterprise the, the services the enter the what we need just to say this is one of the inter annotation instrument that we define our interface uh, interfaces so we save save interface we pass our models uh, our our entity models and we can look for the all the anti existing entities what's in the backend server to read everything from the database and you can find specific one with the with the with the specific id and then delete and you can pass the delete id and delete the object into the database label and update the object so you will look for the for the specific uh, object record and then pass the your you changes values into the database and then do the your operations it's it's clear so this is the clear this is the enterprise definitions that that's I say this is the professional definition or professional structure of your projects or way of doing just really concentrate this structure in the professional life that's we did 10 years or 15 years doesn't matter how many years you work but this is the structure of your implementation don't break it don't don't change anything or don't just follow the structure that you have it and this is the professional the lots of companies but the Google's or, or Facebook or YouTube they are looking the person who have a systematic approach to do the development development is really easy but they need to be understand the architectures the flow flow uh, where the backend server where the middle layer works how the front end works even though each of the project level how they are there they are the modular the your packaging systems your module systems it is important when you give an interview and then they are asking me how you system it how you planned it how how friendly how flexible you it is uh, to design this, this project structure that's why i said it is important please be careful for the to understanding this one so we define our interface and then we implement the interfaces so that if you see that we ex implement the interface, this is our class and define you as a service, export the service. We auto on auto where that's what we talk about. We inject our dependency that's we have it here. So we define our repository and then and very very quickly we go there. So where is the implementations? So there's save save method just simply pass. This is not, nothing special. We just the repository has the same methods we pass the object and it find all object and then if he has an all object this is one of the really really 